Hey everyone. In today's discussion is a question that I got mostly from small business owners who are wanting to know, do Google ads work for small business? The answer, watch this video to learn more. Hey everyone, I'm Richard Cruz. I'm the founder of WSI Priority Media. The purpose of this video and every video that I do is to help your business thrive with tips on digital marketing and Google Ads. We're back with another Google Ad topic today and this time it's all about this question. Do Google Ads work for small business? Hey, I know I left you hanging with the answer at the start of my video, but I'm going to answer it right now. So here's the answer. Yes and no. And look, I, I know that leaves a lot of vagueness, but I'll dig right into it. And it leaves you another question with why? Because the reason why, yes, you know, it does work is because Google Ads, as we know, is a guaranteed listing right at the most valuable part of Google's search, which is top center, absolutely focused in front of everybody. So we know it is valuable real estate and there's no better way to promote your business than by being able to control that space, if you will. But the problem is everybody wants in on that space. And even the hardest keywords, the way to be able to do it is to outbid, not really outbid, but outsmart your competition. So yes, it does work. It works so, so, so darn well. And there's nothing I have seen on earth that works as well for generating consistent clients on an ongoing basis as Google Ads. I mean, it's amazing because it's intent based. But on the other hand, Google Ads may not work well for small businesses or large businesses when one really does not know how and when to properly optimize the keywords for the ads. So let's say, for example, you know, you're a business owner or a marketing director who's planning to do Google ads. And I suggest that you stay uh, till the very end of this video because I'll be giving you the top three pitfalls that I see based on thousands of campaigns that we've run over the years. And I'm going to also break down how that you can avoid those pitfalls so that we ensure that, you know, you're not spending too much money, that your ads are converting well, and that you're profitable. Your ROI is a predictable, steady number that you have a gauge on that you can just scale your business up or down as needed. So the common pitfalls I want you to avoid and make sure that you are keeping an eye on number one is going overboard. So for starters, Google ads can be overwhelming. And as a result, most business owners are just lost. And for this reason, most of these owners or marketing directors, uh, they go overboard and it can be anything from keyword selection, having, you know, broad keywords, having just too much in there to be able to manage or the targeting, you know, not wrong or writing just many different types of ads without the ability to contain them and to be able to test them and be able to um, optimize them. So whether it's location or device or networking, targeting uh, without even realizing that if these things actually will convert for them or not. So how do you avoid this simple uh, error? Keep it simple. Keep your campaigns tight. So for example, when choosing keywords, target your keyword to the T. Even if this means going with your negative keywords, go for refined keywords to improve the quality of your result. Is the keyword, for example, vegan shoes? Does that make sense for your business if it produces genuine leather shoes? No then you can make vegan shoes a negative keyword. So you take out all the fluff, everything that's going to be not applicable. You have to be aware of broad search. Google's default will put a keyword. So say you put in genuine leather shoes. You think that that's what it's going to bring you. But if you don't go in and use modifiers, then what will happen is Google thinks that you want everything that's kind of somewhat related to leather shoes and it will just go crazy and it will spend your money. So you keep it really simple, keep it tight, use modifiers so that you tell Google exactly what you want and what you don't want. Do that and that is going to be something that will be a great benefit for you and you'll be able to track and you'll be able to grow and you'll be able to systematically get better and better profits. Number two, the pitfall that I see is not tracking your Google ads, the ebbs and the flows. 
You see, most business owners, marketing directors, they're just too busy doing and checking their Google Ads campaigns. Sometimes miss uh, checking the entire progress of the campaigns and they're left to wonder, you know, why is my campaign not working you know, when I'm paying so, so much for this keyword? It doesn't matter what you pay. You have got to be able to have your pulse and be able to track the specific areas of the campaign that really, really matter. And so how do you avoid this mistake? Use analytics. Analytics is going to be your best friend. Make sure that your analytics data is feeding up to your Google Ads campaign. When you're in your Google Analytics, set up your conversions, set up your goals, tell the system what your goals are. Don't just use the obvious, a phone call or a web fill, right? That's a lead. That's obvious. But use micro goals as well, too. You know, people that are scrolling on page, how many pages they went through, how long they were on your page, all this data that you can feed in and you can keep an eye on. And so you're getting a pulse of what's really happening on your page. So for an in-depth analysis of your Google Ads progress, I really recommend that you use Google Analytics in a deep, deep fashion and really keep an eye on both, not just your Google Ads campaign, but your Google Analytics campaign and look at it from both sides of it. So this is just a great, great tool to use. Get Analytics is just awesome. I don't use third party tools. There are a ton of them out there. All of them get their data from Google and you can just go right to Google and get the data right there in your Google Ads Manager and in your Google Analytics panel. And so in there, you know, you're able to just track things like your campaigns, your ad groups, your keywords, all the information that's going to help you track the overall progress of your campaign, including why you're spending too much money without getting results. You will normally find it if you're keeping an eye on your numbers. Pitfall number three is quitting too soon. Oh, I can't tell you how often I see that. And if you know that there are people searching for your product or service, number two, if there's competitors that are running ads, why shouldn't you be the guy getting those? All you have to do is be able to run a better and a smarter campaign than the other guys. Keep yourself valuable real estate. Keep your phone ringing. It can work. You have to just be able to optimize your campaign to get you leads within the price range so that you can have a positive return on investment. And so the reason why, you know, Google ads, you know, are not working, you know, for some businesses is, you know, they just don't understand that there's a optimizing process that you have to go through. It's kind of like a garden that's a mess. You know, a master gardener will come in and he knows where to trim and then he'll water and he'll trim some more and he'll shape and he'll fertilize and he'll grow. It's not going to take a day, but you give him a few months and little by little, you'll take a garden that was a mess and he can make it a masterpiece. If you've ever seen those beautiful mansions with those gorgeous homes where everything is manicured, a really great, you know, landscaper that really knows his stuff can just make everything balanced and looking good. Google Ads is the same way. There's all these little pieces, and if you just start putting it together, it will become the most beautiful, most amazing dashboard that is just producing good continual leads. Now, it's not easy. You know, if it was easy, honestly, everybody would be running the campaigns, collecting unlimited leads, building massive multi, multi million dollar businesses. See, many of the pitfalls that so many businesses I see, they quit because they can't see past, you know, the forest. They don't know how to be able to turn that messed up shrubbery into a beautiful garden. And so how to optimize the campaign, making it successful, knowing the steps, you know, have those laid out. Give it time and understand that it is a process. You're training the algorithm. You're teaching the machine learning what you want, what is a good lead and what is a bad lead. And so sometimes it is honestly more of an art than it is a science. But looking at data, knowing you know what changes to make as a result. Well, success in Google Ads is it's possible, but you should expect to be very, very successful if you use better strategy than your competitors. That is the key. Once you pass the learning stage, it should be your number one lead generator in your business. There should be more than enough searches going on if you're in most businesses to keep you busy every single day. So having said that, those who fail at their first campaign and then they quit, they won't ever be able to achieve success in Google Ads. So how do you avoid that mistake? Give machine learning time to learn feed it the right data, access, optimize, you know, watch your data, test different campaigns, your headlines, your offers, 
your targeting, your conversion percentages from clicks to conversions, your click through rates, your landing page conversion, your bounce rate, all those little things, measure, measure, measure everything, test everything until you hit that optimal performance stage. So you see with Google ads, seeing results, it does require time, patience and hard work. Don't give up after a failed campaign. Go back, find the weaknesses, what's wrong, what you're missing. Testing will be your best friend when running ads. So do Google ads work for small business? Google ads will generate more leads than any of your marketing if you take time to do the things that we've discussed today. With these fundamentals in place, you will find your cost of acquisition. You can then scale your business as large as you want to grow. And what kind of business are you running Google ads for and how's it going? Uh, post it in the comments for me. I'd love to hear about what you're doing. And if you have any questions, reach out to me anytime at wsipriorityMedia.net. And if you found this video to be helpful, like it, share it, and subscribe so that you're alerted to future trainings like this. Thank you.